So if you guys didn't know, there was a search engine called Brave, and there's also a browser called Brave, as you can guess, it's by the same company. Um, I just want to look at the search engine today, and they added a new feature called Brave Goggles. Yeah, this is really lame. I need to take off these goggles. I cannot see in these things. They're like almost like welding goggles. That's crazy. Okay, so if I search for portable projectors, there's this new goggles thing up here. It's in beta. Um, you can click it and it's going to give you multiple things. I'm following tech blogs. So what's cool about this is like you can filter your search content because search engines nowadays only promote like the same like 10 sites. Then all the rest of the internet content gets down in like five pages. And so all your top results, which are the ones that everyone's going to click on, have like millions of ads. They're super slow and they're usually not helpful and they're copying from other websites. And it's just, it's not, it's not great. It's not a great experience. With Brave Goggles, I think this is an interesting project because now this is like changing the way you can search through your search engine, filtering out all that dumb content that's just copied and pasted and all that SEO garbage that you don't need. So you have stuff like Hacker News, 1K short. So essentially it's saying prioritize Hacker News domains and then de-promote like top thousand websites people go to. Um, no Pinterest, stuff like that. I mean, it's way cool. You could see each of the different news sources. You could see tech blocks. It, it's, it's pretty cool. So let's just go look at how these work in action. So I'm gonna click on the tech blogs and you can see it's giving us our results. So um, let's just compare this to something like likes of Google because we all love Google so, so much. We're going to perform the same search on Google, portable projectors. Now we can compare. Um, Google is promoting PC Mag and it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. CNET, Best Buy, Tech Radar, and then it's going to try to promote products and it's going to try to like give you in-store availability. And maybe that, maybe that's what you want. Um, I don't really like to have all of these stores and things pop up. I actually want to look at reviews of these things. So you actually have to go in like a page in before you get past the Amazon stuff. And the, oh wait, look, we are still in reviews like on YouTube and we still haven't found any written reviews or anything. I did not like the Google results for this, but we can go back to Brave right here and we can see we got top five from Personal Projector. So they might know what they're talking about. They got some cool stuff up. And we actually have something that's like a review on the website. What's cool is like, we actually have like reviews on the first page, top results. We don't have to go five pages in to find those. Um, here's Another one I thought was pretty cool. I actually performed a search earlier. Another cool website, uh, my projector lamps. So it's definitely not perfect. It's not gonna give you like the really small, like gold websites that you wanna see, but it's also not gonna give you like really high ranking top websites. Um, you can actually see how this works if you click on the, uh, your goggles right here, we can see all the source code. And all this is essentially doing is it's just boosting certain websites by domains. So somebody has to go in here and someone has to uh, add, manually add their domains in here that they want to be promoted. So you can find their uh, Brave page on GitHub and you can see all the different goggles and you can click on them. You could see what domains they're promoting, stuff like that. You can, I'm sure you can pull request. I'm sure they'll accept stuff like that. You can fork it, you can make your own. This is really cool. Cause like it lets you manage your search results rather than having all of what whoever's paying the most, you know, to be at the top. I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool. Obviously you have other search options like Surex, NG, which is what I'm using. Um, essentially just caching results from multiple engines. I mean, it doesn't have the Brave Goggles features, which I think are really cool right now. It's not perfect either. It's just trying to index from multiple websites, but it gets the job done. So in conclusion, I guess search engines are a mess right now, but things are getting better. I mean, Brave's doing this awesome thing, being able to filter websites, being able to find what you need easier is going to be good. So I just want to say, I think this is just going to be a step in the right direction. Definitely not perfect. Definitely not, nothing like crazy, but it's good. I think it, it helps you find your search results faster, which is what you should want from a search engine. So I encourage you guys to check it out and see how you guys like it. And yeah, that's all I got.